Many others stay a while to check out the local history. Barstow is a railroad town in terms of our, our history. We were founded for the purpose of uh, uh, Santa Fe, I guess, railroad. Uh, Barstow grew up out of the Mojave River Valley and the railroad ran right along the valley. Uh, been a transportation location since its uh, founding, a, a major transportation route to the north and um, east and west primarily. We're on the old Route 66. Barstow's Central California location provides us RVers with many travel options. For a three-hour drive northeast along the I-15, you will reach the bright lights and exciting 24-hour activities of Las Vegas. Or by driving southwest of Barstow, along the same highway, you can reach the Pacific Coast in just under three hours. RV traffic is the biggest. We're just now getting ready to enter our camping season. People coming from the Los Angeles area to the Las Vegas area are traveling all the way back east. RVs have grown, uh, people flying in from Australia, uh, all the European countries, and they, they rent their motorhomes out of the Los Angeles area. And it is, we're like halfway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, so we're the halfway spot. We're your big rest area. To experience the history of the California desert, there's another attraction that's only 10 miles away. Look no further than the Mojave Desert's Calico Ghost Town. 100 years ago, Calico, California was a booming silver mining town. It was a place where cowboys, Indians, gunslingers, and shootouts were the norm. This colorful period in America's history has since been preserved in Calico. In 1973, the ghost town was restored to its original state, so we can relive the rousing days of the 80s. The 1880s, that is. Here you can roam the tunnels of Maggie's Mines and relive the dreams of long ago prospectors, or climb aboard a train that goes to the old mines up north. Back in town, you can browse through the 23 shops on Main Street, or quench your thirst at Hank's Hotel, where all the miners used to stay. Approximately 4,000 people lived here at one time, most of them being men who did most of the mining. Families at that time lived, um, it'd be northeast of here, where uh, they had the family and children. On the Main Street alone, there was over 22 saloons. We found out from the locals that the best time to visit this area is in the wintertime. It cools down to an average of 80 degrees. This is the season when the fun really gets rolling. And there are campgrounds in the area to accommodate our veers, including the Barstow KOA. What? Open year-round, the Barstow KOA lies three miles north on the I-15. It's equipped with many conveniences that weren't available to the miners of yesteryear. Barstow also is the best location in terms of uh, trying to discover the desert and uh, we are in a, a hub location of sorts uh, where the spokes can go out to the Rainbow Basin area which is uh, a beautiful area just outside of Barstow. Uh, the Afton Canyon area which it has a lot of history to it in terms of uh, being on the uh, Mormon trail of sorts uh, in their quest to the west. So. Uh, a lot of desert to see, uh, Calico Ghost Town and, and the Factory Outlets Mall are our, our uh, big showstoppers, so to speak. With the central location and many attractions, RV travelers can't help but feel that Barstow and Calico were built just for them.